What's up YouTube, this is URC Shadow, and in today's strategy guide video, we're gonna be looking at two easy ways to complete Martin Madrazo's level 45 mission, cleaning the cat house. So before we take a look at these two methods, let's take a quick look at the payout for this mission and a quick overview. If we complete this in three minutes, we'll get $8,570, four minutes, $11,430, and then six minutes, $13,720. Those first two payouts will give us a dollar per minute payout of $2,857, whilst the six minute payout drops by $500 per minute. So looking at the payout graph, as usual, the red area indicates the time that it can't be completed in, and the blue area shows the time we can complete it in if we use a helicopter. So as you can see, there'll be a three minute payout and the four minute payouts are definitely the ones to go for. So for a quick overview, bringing up the map, we need to rescue a girl called Anna, She's going to be in this building here, out in the desert, guarded by a whole load of enemies. We're going to need to break in, grab her, and get her to safety before delivering her to Martin Madrazo's house out in the Vinewood Hills. So as I said at the beginning, there are two really easy methods you can use to complete this mission. The first one is going to require you to have a helicopter. It doesn't have to be a buzzard, it can be any helicopter that you own and call via Pegasus. And what you're going to want to do is call your helicopter, get to the desert airfield, pick up your helicopter, and then start flying towards the objective. When you get there, if your helicopter you're using does have weapons, feel free to use them. But don't let it distract you from your main objective, which is basically to land on the roof right here. If you do that, the enemies on the ground or in the building won't be able to see you and therefore shoot you. However, Anna will make her way to the roof, jump in, allowing you to take off and quickly deliver her to Martin's house. Again, there are a few enemies that are on the way and if you have weapons, feel free to rattle off a few missiles. But it's completely unessential and you can do this just with a Maverick or any unarmed helicopter as well. And then when you get to Martin's, land in his driveway, Anna will get out and you'll receive your payout. Thank you. So that was the first method, let's look at the second method. So the second method is going to involve us getting on the roof again, but this time we don't have a helicopter, so we're going to be using our car and a ramp that's near the building. Now I've managed to find a reference point at the side of the road where you can start your approach to the jump, but this is generally only for supercars, so if you have a slower car, you're going to have to pick a spot further back. You can of course practice this offline, rather than actually in the mission itself, until you get good enough that you can do it relatively reliably. So we're in Sandy Shores, and we want to find the road that leads up to the building that Anna's currently being held hostage in. And right before the end of the road, we'll be able to see the jump onto the building. And on the right hand side, there's a large shrub with a smaller shrub in front of it. This large shrub for supercars is the starting point for the jump. From this point, at standing start, you want to head towards the jump, take it, and then as soon as you're in the air, put your brakes on. And with a bit of luck and a little bit of practice, you should make it onto the roof. From here, the mission's pretty much the same again. You've got to wait for Anna to get to the top, but in order to avoid all the obstacles down below, once Anna's in the car, we're going to drive along the roof and come off it at this corner. Go across the dirt, onto the road, and start following the GPS back to Martin's house. We are going to encounter a few bikers on the way, and here the usual rules apply. You can drive by them, ideally with an AP pistol, as they head towards you, but don't under any circumstance allow them to stop you or pin you down. From here, it's pretty much straightforward, and after a while, the bikers will stop appearing, and you'll have a relatively straightforward drive to Martin's house. So anyway guys, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please feel free to like and subscribe to support the channel. Don't forget to check out all my other strategy guide videos, tips and tricks videos, as well as a new series of videos I've started that show which missions are the best to do, depending on what level you are. Cheers guys, thanks for watching.